Welcome back. Now let's have the news in detail. We start from India, which has reported the world's highest daily COVID-19 deaths as 1,016 more people died and nearly 91,000 tested positive for the virus overnight. The coronavirus has infected over 27 million people, claiming more than 882,000 lives across the globe. Details in this report. After ravaging the Americas for months, the novel coronavirus now has Europe and India in its sights, killing and infecting thousands every day. India has surpassed Brazil to become the second worst COVID-19 hit nation in the world, with more than 4.2 million infections. France's daily cases fell slightly after reporting a post-lockdown spike over the weekend. Italy dashed football fans' hope, saying spectators will not be allowed to attend matches from the start of the new season. The second wave is threatening the UK's recovery. Now as the country reported its highest number of fresh cases since May. It's at the moment predominantly amongst younger people, but we know that that then leads to cases amongst older people because people inevitably can't help but pass the disease on to their, their family, their grandparents. And we've seen that in so many other countries. So I'm concerned about the figures, but the most important thing is that everybody needs to follow social distancing. In Asia, mainland China has registered a 22nd consecutive day without local infections, but South Korea continues to struggle the community spread. Meanwhile, new cases in Australia's state of Victoria are declining after another spike amid stringent lockdown measures. We are sticking together, we are looking out for each other, uh, and we are having considerable success. And the best way to, to, I suppose, define that is that on the 5th of August, we had 725 cases. On the 7th of September, we have 41 cases. These numbers are coming down. This strategy is working. We are bringing a sense of control to this and we will drive these numbers down further. In the Americas, the U.S. has reported rising cases in 22 of its states as the country celebrates its end-of-summer Labor Day weekend. Brazil has registered more than 14,500 infections and 447 deaths in a day. Mexico has recorded over 4,600 cases and 232 more deaths overnight.